All right, buds. All right, bubbles. All right, buddies. All right, pals. Welcome to the one podcast to eventually rule them all. Episode number two niner. Damn, 29 weeks in, boys. Did I hear a niner in there? You did. did. Hell yeah. I'm joined Hell. today, as always, by three. Nope, make that four of my best friends oh, in the whole shit. world. Uh, <laughs> we got Big Cass himself, Caleb, back oh. in the potty. Big Cass. <laughs> That's a book, Big Cass, in Indiana. We got, big for the we got big old red beard over there, Cody. Hello. Brown Cody Redbeard. Eric Rowan ass. Ass. And over ass. there, ass. over there, we got a uh, <coughs> formerly released Andrade, aka Jake. Idolo, Idolo, or whatever the fuck he said. El Idolo. El Idolo. No, you sound like a real language. El Idolo. And then we El got, e- and over, there, over there. <laughs> Over there, we're across from Mr. Jacob. We got the man himself, Nicholas Gage Ambrose himself, <laughs> Devin Bliss. Literally way too fat. All right. Just like every week, the past few weeks when you call my name, I have a Lord of the Rings fact from Brittany. How it's yes. This doesn't come up much in either The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, but it is important to note that the setting is presided over by a monotheistic god. Be exact, it is presided over by Eru, which is his true name. The elves called Ilavatar, who is supposed to be the same as God in the Bible. Okay. Well, dope. Sure. You sound like a dog with a peanut butter on the roof of its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You should have heard me doing orientation today. And, uh,. I'm the Beast Snow. Hello, the Beast Snow. The one and only. That's the goddamn Beast Snow. The only Beast Snow I know. Absolutely. The only Beast Snow I want to know. So I would say the same, but I delivered to another Beast Snow. So it's my favorite oh. snow. Wow. Totally. Crazy. Imagine is... you just, you know, just fucking me. Shit on his dreams. Just, just Blame fuck them. him, Cody. Just fuck him, Cody. I want to. He won't let me. Oh shit! Don't Grab you him fucking and... lie. Don't you ever lie like that again. Oh, hold on. You were you sh- you weren't here last week or two weeks ago when he showed us his dick. <laughs> no, yeah. I heard that he was going you to. Out. I you heard that he was it. going to, so he told you, and you still didn't come. Mm-mm. I tried. He didn't try. I did come. <laughs> didn't try uh... at all. <laughs> all right. So it today wasn't, wasn't even a second thought. Today, uh. <laughs> We got Devin's news as usual. We're going to do some Falcon and Winter Soldier review. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm going to give you some Call of Duty news because I got a lot of it. And we're going to talk about Indiana Championship Wrestling in all of its glory. Everything Indiana represents and presents and we love. and Goddamn. But before that, let's play Do You Know What? Uh, Top Turda. Sponsored today by The Beast Know. <laughs> My and he game. asks... If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Manicotti. If I can only eat... Can, okay, can there be different variants of said food? <laughs> like, can I have different kinds of pizza? I guess that's okay, since it's just pizza. Then pizza. No, yeah, hold pizza. on, hold on, hold on. That's it. That, that's a cheating answer. I that's said, why I didn't say anything, pizza. Anything can be a pizza. Jake, so I, said, if you're, I said food. If you're, mine's probably yeah. chicken. Chicken. Yeah, I mean you can do like. Vague. Yeah, but you can do yeah. <laughs> you can do chicken salad. Let me chicken eat Parmesan, chicken. <laughs> chicken marsala. No, you just eating chicken. You didn't say yeah, you're chicken, chicken Milanese. You're eating a fucking raw chicken, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I will do. I will do. It and eat it. I Every will day. do authentic steak tacos. Ooh. Okay. Okay, from from Texas? <laughs> no, from not the word. <laughs> from Texas. <laughs> so, Cody, you're going with chicken? Yeah. Just, Raw chicken. Oh, yeah. Just chicken. Raw ass chicken. <laughs> like feathered chicken. Yeah. The only kind I know. Devin? 
Damn, bro. Elotes. I got four of them. What? Mmm, I love elotes. Wow. Damn. Bro, I'd eat it every day if I could. That's... I don't know, though. My new Gordon Ramsay steak acumen. I could... I could fuck with a filet every day. I stayed with Devin for three days and he didn't cook me steak. Wow. Had a panic attack on the way there and he stood and cooked me steak. Did he cook wow. you anything? You didn't know you were friends. Did he cook you anything? No, Brittany did. He did. Wow. That's what she does. That's what she does when people are over. Nobody asked me to cook. They want her to cook. You could have cooked for me on Friday night. Uh, No, because you didn't... I wasn't making you fucking steak at 1 a.m. when you decided to come home. Crazy. Uh-huh. Imagine. Right? I I'm, not eating, I'm not eating steak at 1 a.m. I have a body <laughs> to, to work on. <laughs> I have to hold this shit together, and it's not easy. I feel that. All right, so Caleb went with manicotti. Cody went with the raw ass chicken. Yeah. Jake went with authentic steak tacos from down the road in bumfuck Indiana. <laughs> Devin went with the Lodi. Lodi. The Lodi. I'd go with sushi. Ooh. Yeah, I bet you would. Because your grandma's Japanese. I could fuck sushi. with some sushi too. Unfair. I don't. I don't fuck need to get that Kroger sushi. <laughs> no. Kroger sushi. Kroger Chango sushi like, really ain't bad. Up, it's not bad, but it's not. It's not bad. It's not good, but it'll hold you over. Yeah, if <laughs> you need a little snack. All right, it'll so, hold you. Over. So guess what? <laughs> guess take it. Take a wild guess. Devin's news time. No. Take. Just, all he said was take a wild guess. No. Oh, uh, Devin what? is going to peruse the news. <laughs> uh, Devin, uh, give uh, us some news to talk about, Bubba. Okay. So, all these things are in chronological order, starting from the beginning of the week when I started jotting down some news. Okay. So, uh, the Resident Evil Village gets a new demo on April 24th. Mm. Right now, it's the 22nd as we record this. Yeah. By the time this comes out, it will be out, so go get okay. the demo. Hell yeah. Dave, season two. Season two of Lil Dicky as Dave is yeah. coming out June 16th. I still need to watch it. I, you uh, certainly fucking do, and it's a shame that you haven't. You haven't seen season one yet? I watched the like first half. Oh, it's so good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, what, you was that, what was that, Caleb? I have not watched it. You need to. Do you not like, like enjoying things? Do you no. like having no fun? I don't like, like Lil Dicky. I don't like Lil Dicky either, so I ain't fucking... Doesn't matter. Wow. Wow. Go watch fucking uh, Dave. Listen to Pillow Talking. The last episode I saw is when he finally showed her his penis. <laughs> that was like the third episode, dude. <laughs> yeah, halfway through. <laughs> you, gotta keep, you gotta keep going, because pretty soon he, he's gonna... She's gonna start milking him. <laughs> well, I think that's what they were in the middle of doing. In, yeah, in the right. garage. Yeah. That was that he episode. pulls up and's like, so should I put the door down or? She said, <laughs> is that where they're fucking of... on the table? Yeah. yeah. She, said, yeah, she my... said, well, what kind of porn do you like? I, I like milking porn. <laughs> that is, that dude, it's, it, that show's hilarious. It really is. It's really funny. Oh, I can't wait for season two. Netflix is going to spend $17 billion on content in 2021. Wow. You know what? I hope so, because they keep raising the prices up $30 fucking dollars. <laughs> I pay now, 20 bucks a month for it. Yeah, That's too much. I mean, you get a lot of shit. So, hey. yeah. uh, Daenerys from Game of Thrones. What's her real name? Does anybody know? Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark. That's what I thought. Anyway, she's joining Secret Invasion. Oh, Sunday shit. Which is Didn't a know that. Series. And and he's also writing a comic book for Image Comics called Mother of Madness. Hell yeah. Dope. I'm a big Amelia Clark fan. I beca- I liked her a lot in Game of Thrones, and then when I found out she filmed the entire like last two seasons with fi- like brain cancer, it made me respect her like that much more. She has brain cancer, or you know, she had a tumor or something like that. Damn. Fuck. If only the writing wasn't so terrible for her. All right. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> she had cancer. No, no, she did great. The writing let nice. her down. Love Amelia Clark. Discord, the thing we're all using right now to speak to each other. I'm so happy about this. 
Yeah. They told Microsoft to fuck off. Yeah, no, they, they should. Yeah, they said fuck off. <laughs> they said they should. They said ten billion dollars. Fuck you. Wow, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> They're, you know, just doing 10 their own thing. Billion dollars. Yeah, and they said fuck you, Microsoft. <laughs> they said Microsoft. Fuck. You. Well, yeah, because like if they let. Microsoft do that shit. Like they're not their own thing anymore. They have to run everything by them at that point. And that's not. Nah. Cody just hates Chain. Microsoft. Cody I do hate not. Microsoft. Don't start on that shit, you bitch. Oh. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, I love it. I love. I love when Cody gets fiery. We do. We we fucking. We get his juices flowing. We, we really do. Just wait until Bucky and the Falcon Soldier show. Oh God. Uh, yeah, good boy, episode. did my tone change. Uh, <laughs> this one, this next piece of news, very funny to me. I mean, like, I read it, and I was like, wow, that's hilarious. Rockstar made DLC for Max Payne 3. <laughs> Isn't that like, game, like, 30 years old? Yeah, uh, basically. On PC only, they made some <laughs> DLC for it. That's I'm hilarious. Proud of them. Uh, that's very funny. Like, of all the things, like, somebody was like, Let's they do wanted to add more Max content. Payne. Let's were, do something with Max Payne three. They were just high talking about it, like so, <laughs> their peak player uh, count for the year has been like seven hundred. That's still a lot of people for a yeah. game that fucking old. Hell it's yeah, a, it it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot of people if we're looking at it from the outside. But if you look at other games people play, I mean, I guess it's that's a very true. small number. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, Square Enix is going to be at E3, so <laughs> we're probably going to get some Final Fantasy stuff. The Flash movie is coming out still. Uh, good. They're still making it, and Michael Keaton is going to play Batman again. Oh, good. Yeah. So he's yeah. the, he's the Vulture, and no, he will be Batman again. The Batman. Yeah, he's I supposed mean... to be the, like the Flashpoint Batman or something. Oh, and since I said oh, yeah. it. Since I said Vulture and Spider-Man, uh, Sony, or not Sony, Disney yeah. came to some agreement with Sony or whomever, and Spider-Man is coming to Disney+. Plus. That makes me happy. Hell yeah, it does. Uh, the after PS3, after Netflix, though, right? I, it didn't say a date. Because it's going to Netflix, and then it's coming. That's a new Spider-Man movies. Yeah. I thought it was all Spider-Man's. I thought Spider Man was hard. Unless it changed. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Spider Man's not on Netflix now. No. It was, though. Not the newer ones. No, not the new ones. I'm talking about old Spider Man. Yeah, the newest. It, the last Spider Man that was on there is uh, Into the Spider Man. Such a good movie. Uh, mm-hmm. The PS3 and Vita stores not closing now. So good. if for some reason you're still on PS3 and you're still buying shit on PS3, you're good to go, I guess. Whomever's still doing that. Uh, there. Then there's the news that Caleb ruined. So forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> the Witcher passed 30 million copies. No, through. I can talk about the news that Caleb ruined. No, I don't care about it anymore. I, no, I, the, I want to talk about it. I ruined the Why? Secret Evasion too, and you still talked about it. True. No, no. I just said she was joining Secret Invasion. I see. I didn't go into Devin, detail about it. Talk about the news that Caleb ruined. Oh my God! How I Met Your Father was ordered by Hulu, and Hillary Duff's going to be in it. Woo. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm super not into it. <laughs> into the How I Met Your Father. Not at all. How I Met Your Mother did so fucking oh trash. Oh my god. I hope. Nick look, did not do trash. Fuck off. That show was no, great. It ended trash. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the, end. The, end, the end was asshole. The, the end was stupid. <laughs> but I, I don't know if it's I because. I was in love with Robin the whole time. What? I'm like, bitch, we knew it. Like, I, I don't know if uh, the reason that I dislike how i met your mother so much now is because i didn't like the show as a general or because i didn't like the, the finale the, fucking, the thing that really gets me is the kids were like yes go fuck aunt robin and it also really like hey honey i know you're on your deathbed but like i really want to go fuck robin oh cool yeah sure she's the love of my life but boy i'd rather be with robin yeah <laughs> fuck off Ted fucking sucks as a like, human being throughout, throughout the whole show. Ted is awful. He's just the yeah. worst. <laughs> he bangs the hottest girls, too, for no reason. He's an architect, dude. Fucking. 
Yeah, he's an okay. architect who somehow not didn't so make much any more money. Than our, not more than Barney. I don't know. <laughs> Barney, Barney was slinging that dick. <laughs> Barney was Barney was giving it up to everybody. Yeah. He's um, he's by far the fucking best character. Oh yeah. When he keeps stealing Ted's he's, girls, he's like, I'm I'm not I can't even apologize. He's the best character <laughs> in anything he plays in. When you find out what his job is at the end. <laughs> yeah. What was That's, his job? I forget. Like nothing. It's a secret. <laughs> He doesn't. He didn't have one. Yeah, he uh, literally just sits in the office and tells people what his job is. He, well, no, he doesn't tell anybody what his job is. Right. Love it. But yeah, end of the show. So. Please. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, like I said, Witcher Pass 33. 30 million copies sold. Fuck yeah, congratulations. Uh, what, what came with that is also that it said, whatever, the game nobody likes. Oh no, I'm blanking. Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk had sold almost 14 million. Mm. Uh, PS5 will have more exclusives than all previous consoles. I'm okay with that. Thank God. Sony patented an AI that will play games for you. <laughs> what? That doesn't Pardon make me? any sense. Yeah, I'm going to say why. Don't know why, but they did. I mean, it's probably just to help you get out of a... Like, you can get out of a certain scenario that you can't be on your own or some shit like that. So when Caleb can't be a second row for four years, he can call upon the Sony AI. I'm on the last boss. I'm on the last boss. Yo, beat this Sekiro for me. (laughs) And my last last piece of news, Nintendo will not support other streaming services on the Switch. As in what? Uh, They only have Hulu. Oh, So, so you can't get like Netflix and shit like that on there? Yeah, never. Interesting. Nintendo said no. That's very weird. Uh, so, so that's all the the news I could peruse and grab from uh, this fine week. Be snow. <laughs> Wait, well, first off, does anybody else have some news? Uh, oh, Mortal, did you Kombat. Have some news? Mortal Kombat comes out tomorrow, the twenty third. Pretty, pretty all right. right. It's, it's getting first, decent reviews. First seven minutes of that movie with Scorpion and Sub Zero, very similar to the other Mortal Kombat project. Hmm. Okay. That only fucking I remember, I guess. No, the YouTube one. Yes. Did we talk yeah, about I this? No what it is. I probably a little bit, but yeah, I watched that one. That one was yeah. really good. Legacies yeah. was dope. I mean, like the same fucking thing. <laughs> so hey, that's not a bad which, thing. Which is fine because I liked it. So whatever, I'm just saying. All right, all right, be snow. Hmm. Say some shit about Call of Duty. Well, I'm gonna save that till after, because I got oh. a lot. So. Oh no. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you guys didn't know, GameStop CEO is getting 179 million dollars for quitting. Wow. Don't yeah. wish I could quit I like and get 179. <laughs> Imagine. I wish I could work for that much money. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, same, but I'd also rather quit for it. I mean, um, yeah, I could yeah. Stay at home. Asper. Or whatever media life. will head the remake of Knights of the Old Republic. Ooh, it's exciting. Russell Crowe is going to play Zeus in the new Thor movie. Russell Crowe is going to play Zeus. Yeah, Gladiator. You know, huh. I know who he is. Trust me. I, I, I just watched Gladiator not too long ago. Love that movie. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Hell yeah, Damn. it's got Walking Phoenix in it. Welcome, Phoenix. Joking. Our, um, I did just watch Joker too. This is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting news for all you guys. Uh, the Brazzers game is out on PC and Android today. The what? I don't know what the fuck that is. The, the Brazzers game? Yeah. You don't talk the only about game this. that'll make you come. Ah. Somebody's looking it up. I am Brazzers <laughs> game. What does it entail? The casual sex game is what it's called. <laughs> you can play those for free on your phone. Yeah. Summary of the game. Welcome to the steamy world of the Brazzer Studio in this Whoa. truly revolutionary online sex game. Slip into the role of a true porn producer and reach new levels of naughty stardom by working with the best in the industry. Get famous yeah. Brazzer, Brazzers talent such as Abella Danger and Phoenix Marie to work uh. with you and cast them in the raunchiest videos you can think of. And since your girls deserve the best of the best when it comes to pleasure... Legendary stars such as Johnny Sins or Kieran Lee are locked Ooh. and loaded and just waiting for you to say the word. 
So welcome to the team. Can you handle the heat? Story. Look. You have been offered a once in a lifetime opportunity to work for Brazer Studio. As a fresh faced porn producer, your main goal is to ma- make a name for yourself and the studio you represent. Cast the most famous Brazers porn stars in the steamiest videos on the internet. Grow your business and shower your gals with all the fame and riches they, can- they crave in return. But be careful. With great talent comes great responsibility. <laughs> your, ta- your lovely girls are as feisty as they come and will only agree to do the shots like, the be- like they-, they like best. So make sure you pick the right pick the right video for each girl and get dozens of photos, videos, and animated art pieces created, especially for you to enjoy. Jesus there's Christ. whole, dude, there's a whole, like, sex okay. scenes, real videos and photos of your favorite Brazer porn stars. First off, you will no. be rewarded with actual real Brazzers footage from static photos to stre- steamy videos. <laughs> Is it an expensive game? It's free! Jesus Christ. Amazing. Nobody should know the names of porn stars from Brazzers. I mean, I knew like Johnny Sins and Kieran Kieran Lear. I knew who Johnny Sins is. I've literally never heard of any of them. Cody. So, come on now. Are we going to play this game on stream? Yeah. (laughs) Please. Please do. (laughs) I can't. I can't. (laughs) No, you can't. No, I literally can't. They'd love it. Um. All right. I have, I have, I have just one more oh piece of news. <laughs> it's a first person. It's a first person game. Of course it is. First person shooter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go on, Snow. <sighs> <sighs> all right. So the last piece of news. Uh, you guys would love all this. You guys. Um. WWE is partnering with Crunchyroll for a mystery anime project. Mystery anime? Uh, Mr. Anime. I don't. I don't know Why how. The excited fuck would it be, Mr. Anime? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no, anime is weird. A mystery anime project. No, okay. Mr. I don't care anything WWE does anymore. Uh, I didn't like the New Japan anime, so look. I'm still waiting on the fucking uh, Magic the Gathering anime, so... That'll be cool. Hey, fuck off. <laughs> okay. That was supposed to come to Netflix forever ago. Yes, it was. The Critical Role one was supposed to be on Amazon forever well, ago, too. You don't, yeah, you don't want it that, to go to... That happened COVID. <laughs> that you don't is... want it to go to Netflix. Uh <laughs> So COVID happened to Critical Role, and also they had to put on like so much more shit because they kept reaching max beyond their goals. Just yeah. look, no, be happy it's not on Netflix because nobody on Netflix can fucking draw. So I, I don't, yeah, I don't, man. I don't even want to talk about fucking animated Netflix. Seven Deadly Sins wasn't that bad. No, seven that wasn't well, that wasn't a Netflix show. Some of it wasn't. Some of it was. So it became a Netflix show, but it wasn't at first. Right. All right, speaking of anime, Cody, let's talk about some uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. How one of my boy. favorite, one I of my so favorite anime. Happy I'm on this episode for this one. I'm so I, happy. Uh, we are. So... I feel like I feel like I missed something. I I know I've watched the show. I Why are you miss... upset about this episode? Oh no no! Did like... you see Sam throw the shield? No no no! I'm super happy. Did you see the shield? He was black and he was throwing that shield. Literally. <laughs> I'm super an happy African, about all that now. An African American throwing and catching the shield in very athletic ways. Yeah, dude, that was sweet. They were Look just playing with the shield. Can I just say? He was doing it just fine. Who fucking cares? But Sam was doing it. <laughs> God forbid. John, John Walker threw it into the fucking wall. He said, "That's nice." <laughs> Falcon, Falcon, Sam, Falcon bounced it off a tree. Cody said, "Fuck this." Not, <laughs> not at all. What I said. I have to I have to talk about something really quickly here when it comes to this show. <laughs> yes. Isaiah is my favorite character. Yeah, Isaiah's cool as fuck. That dude, I don't know. I don't know if he's acting really well or if this man's just hurt. A little <laughs> bit of both. <laughs> because because wow, he his performance is fucking chef's kiss. Yeah. Um 
All right, so Cody, please tell us what you think of this latest episode. Oh, I don't know. Am I going to be interrupted by a bunch of fuckwits, or am I going to be able to talk? Yet, but continue. Oh, shit. Jesus, Cody. Just talk through it, Cody. Talk through it. I'll listen. Okay. I hate to talk to talk to my friends about anything. <laughs> I'm fine with you talking. You guys keep just cutting me off and don't let me say shit. You? Why are you, are you telling me story now? Talk about anyway. the show. Anyway. Jesus Christ. Uh, you could so... have been spending this whole time talking <laughs> about the show. has a lot of shit going on. <laughs> See, that's all we had to do, that's but no, oh, we couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Cody. Go ahead. Get it. Love you, Devin. Somebody's sleepy. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, uh, a lot of shit happened this episode. You had um, John Walker getting court-martialed, basically. He got kicked the fuck out. They told him... Imagine not going to jail for murdering somebody. Uh, right. Well, I mean... <laughs> Could it be White John Walker? Yeah. Um, actually, no. It started off by him getting the fuck beat out of him. Yeah, he did. Government official White John Walker. Yeah. Government official White John. Uh, Bucky and Sam were basically like, "All right, Shield's ours," and he's like, "No, it's fine." Yeah. Like, okay, they, cool. Shield's ours, though. They commandeered that bitch. They, they broke his fucking arm. That that fight that scene was super fucking soldier. dope. That fight scene was great. That yes, was a really good fight scene. What I need, what I need Bucky to do, is like catch somebody between his arm and the like magnets that his arm goes through. I just want somebody's finger to get stuck there, and then just like point bye. Yeah. Ugh. Um. Yeah. Started out with that, and then you know, John gets told he's not Captain America anymore. But then we don't really see much from him, except he does go to Lamar's family and talks to him. And Straight lied to their faces yeah, too. Lied to their faces, and they pretty much did nothing but hype him up and like, no, now I, you did the right thing. I don't think they believe him. I think there was a hint to like maybe, and I hope so. Like, ah, uh, okay, that's weird, but sure. Hold up. So, so who's who's the uh, chick that gave him the card? I have no idea. Yeah, I have no that's idea. Right. That's a bitch from Seinfeld. <laughs> You're right. His show is. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea who she is story wise. Dark I Avengers. I I, I literally Avengers. don't version of Nick Fury. I don't remember her name. I have no idea. So oh if it's Dark Event listen. Dark Avengers would be led by Norman Osborn. Yeah. So Which could technically happen. Who also led the Dark X Men for some reason. But Yeah, well, you know. It's well, coming. Norman does some weird things, okay? He was also the Iron Patriot for a while, but <laughs> yeah, he was. Um, but yeah, so we got all that. Uh, we got more scenes of HGTV, the Winter Falcon Soldier. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. And they were just fiction shit around the house, and Bucky came and helped to kind of like, yeah. I so that made that scene in particular made me incredibly happy. There's a couple things about Bucky I want to talk about this episode. Uh, First of all, I love the dynamic between Bucky and Sam mm -hmm. because even though they like they don't necessarily like each other and you can tell that they don't really like each other. They're like the friend of the friend respect that each other. Yeah, like Cap was the only thing they had in common and they were just there because he was there. And now through circumstance, it's drawing them closer to each other. Yeah, I think they're starting to like each other. I think so. I think Bucky is finally getting out of his own head and being like, OK, I have to be a person. Like I can't just well. Be I, one thing, important. one thing that I noticed. Do you remember the first episode when Bucky woke up? Mm -hmm. Did you notice he was sleeping on the floor? Yeah. And oh, and then when he woke up at Sam's house, he was sleeping oh. on the couch. Yep. So, I don't know if that means anything, but to me it does because it feels yeah. like it's like a safety thing, security. Well, and the the turning point for me of like, okay, yeah, Bucky has changed is when he didn't kill Zemo. When he just let Wakanda take him and was like, yeah. do whatever you want. Because mm -hmm. I definitely thought he was going to die. Same. I thought that was going to be the end of Zemo, and he's just like, nah. I like Zemo now. <laughs> well, people yeah. are talking. People are upset because Zemo is just like, they took took him or whatever, and they're like, oh, Zemo was like best part of the show. Now he's done. But Zemo like, if you watch, yeah, if you watch he the escaped. previews, he, well, if you watch the previews, he puts on his mask. He hasn't even yeah. done that in the show yet. No, so Zemo still has. How is he supposed to be done if he doesn't even put on the mask yet? 
He did for a little bit when they Good. were in those shipping containers. Yeah. 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 He put it on before when they went to go out to start killing all the people to shoot their way out of the shipping containers. Two episodes ago, before Wakanda came in. I think Zemo, because Zemo didn't get captured or anything like that. He just escaped. I think he still has a big part to play in the show. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's with Wakanda. I, they're not going to kill no, him. No, he's not. Yeah, they did. No, he, he escaped. Got... No, he captured them. He, no, captured in the fight scene. scene. No, in the fight scene, they were all fighting each other, oh, and he escaped ago. through a sewer. That was two episodes ago. Did, did they yeah, capture uh, him since then? Yeah, yeah. Okay. At the end of the episode. Well, yeah, it, wasn't episode? The end. it was like mid. Yeah. The Dora Milaje <laughs> took him away. Yeah. yeah. I must have missed he, that part. Oh, well, well, yeah, he had cause... a gun to his head, and he said, no, you can have him, and then the Wakandans took him. Yeah. I must have missed that part. Yeah, because he was take... visiting yeah. the, uh, the memorial to Scandinavia. Because <laughs> Sarkovia. Bucky brought the gun. Everyone's like, Bucky's going to shoot him. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember. Bucky doesn't shoot him. And then instead... Dora Milaje takes him away. And Dora Milaje's like, with us. Let's go. I remember now. But he's not done. I, the Dora Milaje don't really kill people. So mm-hmm. I, sure, he's going to do some shit with him. That's for damn sure. <laughs> if, but, if, if they find a use for him, he will stay around. Absolutely. And he's a very useful person. Baron Zemo is going think... to take Black Panther's place. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think... That like, like yeah, he's not a good guy, but like he's also not a really bad guy. He just does yeah. bad things. He's he's Listen, truly chaotic he, neutral. He's he does I, he does for himself. He's Thanos. He, hold on, he's, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop it. No, no. He's most like Magneto. Yeah. Because his family killed. Uh, okay, they're killed in different circumstances, but I right. think he does have a reason to be bad. So, well, so does Thanos, so Caleb's description isn't... No, hold on, hold on. Thanos has no reason to be bad. Yes, Thanos, he does. In his mind, in his mind... Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. Thing. Yeah, that's, that's his reason. Whether or not you believe his reason is justified has nothing to do with it. No, that's not exactly yes. what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, technically, he thought he was saving Earth. By exactly, he thought he was saving yeah. the world. Earth. No, eh, whatever. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Just saying. They're, they're different. Oh yeah, they're definitely different. They're different. If your family is killed, right. I think of it this way: if you either a Holocaust survivor, then sure, you do whatever the fuck you want. You have the right. Or if your family's killed and you have to go do some evil shit, then that's what you got to do. Well, I understand. Where, how, I, I, I understand that. Like, I don't disagree with you when I'm in that in that regard. I shouldn't have started this off like I I wanted it to be a disagreement. It's that is just how I feel about villains. Right. If, in, in my mind, Thanos. <laughs> Did what he did because he thought he was saving the world, and that's Thanos why he is, fought so hard. Thanos's planet was perished because of it, so he yeah, thought right. what he was doing would prevent that everywhere else. Yeah, like I don't want to see that shit happen to everybody. So, yeah. no so his intentions were good. He just went the wrong way about it. Right. Yeah, he didn't. His intentions were pure in, in the purest respect, saving the world. But he wasn't a good guy the way he did it. Yeah, he's lawful evil. Whereas I do think Zemo is very much chaotic. Chaotic neutral, neutral yeah. Like, Same with Magneto. Don't trust anybody. I do shit because I think it's the right thing to do, but also I will kill a bitch if I have to. Yeah. But I like Zemo. I think he's been yeah, doing great. I, 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 think I, great. I like Zemo and all the like animations and comics and shit. This too. is why I love these shows, though, so, so much, because I'm getting to know these characters so much more than I would have just through the movies. Yeah. And it's... <laughs> I don't know. It's super fucking cool. Um, you can always but, try and pick up comics again. Mm-hmm. I have some. I just don't read them. Um, you also see, though, Sam getting a full-on training montage with the shield, which I love. Okay. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Before you go on, I want to okay. know what changed your mind. Well, okay. So I think it was a conversation he and I had last week. Yeah, because the way the trailer made it seem is like Sam just picked up the shield and then instantly like, oh, there you go. I'm Captain America again. And then like Jacob was saying, like, I've got to stop looking at it as the comics. This is a completely separate thing. We don't even know the physics of the shield. We don't know anything about it. It could be an ability of the shield that makes it to where it bounces back pretty much no matter where you throw it. Sierra, so go, going at it from that and the fact that full-on training montage for it like him putting in a ton of fucking work and be like nah I'm getting this so I, I don't know I loved it I thought it was a really cool scene I can't I wait my to favorite, see him in, I can't wait my to see him in favorite part of that scene was when he was running 
and the camera had him like this. Yeah. Like, angled like frame like this. So there was room for Steve to run by him on the other side. Yeah. And I like, think we're go on. I was just gonna say, like the little shit like that, the little details that Feige always puts in to just be like oh, to wrench okay. at your fucking heartstrings, yeah. Uh-huh. I think I think we're gonna get him in the suit in like the last episode. Oh for sure, for sure. Is that what we're thinking is in the briefcase? Yeah. The Captain America so. suit? I think so. I think so. Also think... see, that's what I thought too, but people are thinking like his army dude just made him new wings. I don't think so. No, nah, I don't think so. I mean, it might be New Wings with a uh, Captain America. Ship. I think I think that was just the way to get. I think that was a way to just get rid of the wings, like you know, yeah. in in wrestling, you fucking beat somebody up to get them gone. Yeah, you, yeah. You fuck the you fuck the wings up, they're gone. Yep. It's so time we, to... Here's my here's my prediction for the for the finish, brother. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. It's gonna come down to the big fight between the flag smashers and. Uh, Sam and Bucky, right? Mm-hmm. Wherever, whatever the big finish is, John Walker and whatever. And obviously, Sam and Bucky are going to come out on top. <clears throat> and Sam's going to be wearing the Captain America shit, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody's going to be like cheering and grad- like cheering for Bucky and congratulating Bucky. And Bucky's going to say, "Let's hear it for Captain America." Yeah, <laughs> big old pop. Big old pop, big old harken back to Captain America one, yeah. and big feel good story. It'll make all the racists hate the show. Yeah. Good, do we fuck them? Fucking wait for that <laughs> so they can out themselves as pieces of shit. So, do we think that Bucky's gonna make the transition to White Wolf in this at all? Probably, because they they did mention it at the beginning of the show. They, they, they mentioned him White Wolf. <laughs> Well, in the beginning, that. and when the Dora Laje are actually talking to him, it's always like, you did this, you're the White Wolf. Like, There's right. only one White Wolf, and his name's Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, killed the momentum. So, I refuse to call Bucky White Wolf. They've, they've been calling that's him White Wolf. Literally that's what, what the, is. I mean, cool. that's what they've been, that's what the Wakandans have been calling him. <clears throat> yeah. Because if... I mean, if Sam takes the mantle as Captain America, then Bucky needs his own identity. So I think he embraces the White Wolf. Yeah, it's very possible. Um, I know I'll, uh, some people are saying Torres might end up being a new hero at some point too, but I don't know why. Like, I don't know what's... Making He's that. about to just be a fucking shield operative. <laughs> I hope. But I don't know. Does anybody else feel like it's just starting? Yeah, it feels like there's like 20 more episodes left. Yeah, because like the last episode. And this was the felt, mid-season. For... Not yeah. even mid-season, there's one episode left. Oh, is no, there only one episode left? There's no. only six episodes. Tonight's no. the finale. So, no well, way. That's what I was heard. This this made me just... They just... said that was, on YouTube it showed the mid-season. From what I heard, this was there was only six episodes. Yeah. So one episode left, and it comes out tomorrow. Wow! I'm not yeah. ready for the... right. No, wow. no, 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 like no, no, we... no, 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 friends, no. <laughs> on from Marvel Entertainment on YouTube, the last episode is considered the mid sneak. They post a video of the mid season sneak peek. Okay. Uh, is that a is that a real is that Marvel's actual thing? Yeah, Marvel Entertainment. Okay. That doesn't mean it's Marvel's channel, though. Some anybody can change it. Right there. Marvel Entertainment. Yes, definitely their own. Yeah, that's their thing. But yeah, it, it was labeled okay. the mid-season, so there's no way that the okay. last. But every everywhere else is saying tomorrow's the last episode. I was gonna say because that Cinema Blend, Inverse, different. The Ringer, Screen well, Rant. It'd be odd to not believe Marvel. If they say it's not fair. Because you don't I have don't the mid season, the episode prior to the season finale. It could yeah, this I guess this could be the mid season finale. Tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. Well, that makes it a lot better because it definitely feels like this shit just Is it gonna take like a four month break like other shows? I hope not. I mean it's possible, but there's no way they end the entire show next or tomorrow. <laughs> when does no, the 
a month from uh, there's a month in between okay or two so. months in between i think there's two months in between okay then yeah it's not over yet june 11th okay the day before the second icw show the day before caleb takes on king bw ah. for the indiana grand slam championship cool grand Just slam. spoilers what spoilers Ain't nobody listening to the show. You're right. <laughs> wow. Okay, but that, that makes it a lot better wow. that it's a midseason and not not done done because I was about to be real sad. Where did it say that, Caleb? Because I didn't see it on their YouTube. Just type in the... Uh, I just typed in Winter Soldier. I'm going to go to Twitter. It just comes up. Uh, the Falcon and Winter Soldier and then from Marvel Entertainment, midseason sneak peek. And it was... Last week's episode. That doesn't say mid-season finale sneak peek. That just says it's a mid-season sneak peek. Yeah, but you can't have mid-season on episode five and then have the season finale of episode No, six. yeah, right here. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is... Watch the fifth episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier before the finale arrives. Doesn't make that, was, that was tweeted by the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and then retweeted by Marvel Entertainment. Well, now I'm sad again. <laughs> Now I'm just confused, right? I guess tomorrow we'll find the out finale. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah. the finale. <laughs> That's sad. It feels like it just started. I know. I know. Unless it's just a lead up into what they're doing for phase four, which... I, which is what they're doing. I guess, but... Speaking but how of many that... Episodes, how many episodes did WandaVision get? They got eight, nine, didn't they? They got eight. eight. Um, they got eight. I don't think that... I don't think Marvel anticipated Falcon and Winter Soldier to go over as well as it has. They yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I think they expected this one to be better than WandaVision. You think so? Yeah, they expected it's big two shit highly this. named characters in one show. Whereas That's true. Scarlet Witch was kind of just like a background noise until she really exploded with WandaVision. Yeah, she did. I feel the opposite. I feel like I feel like they're all all four of them are just kind of background noise. <laughs> Bucky? He had a Literally. whole ass, he had not a Bucky, whole ass not, movie. Not, not Bucky, but like Sam and Sam. Sam's and, always been a cap side, though. <clears throat> always been a sidekick. Wish I was a sidekick. You are. You're mine. Yeah. Fair, uh, but I mean, I guess speaking Fair. of, since we're talking about Phase Four, the Shang Chi trailer released, and that that should look dope. Fuck. I still have people. It. People are trying to cancel, old dude. It looks good. They're trying to cancel him because he said some racist shit 30 years ago. Of course Who? The main character. The Asian guy? Asian guys can say racist shit. Um, you said 30 years ago. He doesn't look that old. Well, he is. Nice. He's up there. Is it Donnie Yen and I just didn't realize it? I have no idea. I don't know how long ago it actually was, but yeah, dude said some racist shit on Twitter. Did you guys see the Easter egg that's possible in that trailer? Mm-mm. Uh, Mm-mm. There's oh, a oh, dude in the, the subway, or no? There's like a cage or something, and in the background you see what could be John Walker's Captain America shield. Oh no, shit! Oh, which is something that there was a mid credit scene finally for this, and I've been basically, waiting for him. huh? I've been oh, waiting yeah. for him. It's basically John going off his rocker. And being like, I'm fucking Captain America. He, he did not US. care about it at all. Nah. Like, I don't know. I'm okay with it. I just... He's okay with it. I like what they did with the character. They're making me not like him. And that's they're what they're supposed to do. Heal. Yeah. So they're the question is, good. how is he making the shield? Is it going to be a vibranium? No. If, there's if no, way. Is, no way. If it is, that means there's more ties to the claw. It's definitely not vibranium because he was fucking hammering it. <laughs> yeah, true. He would not be able to do that. <laughs> so, okay, so then what's the shield going to be made of that isn't going to explode? Aluminum. Yeah, it might <laughs> just be like a piece of shit carbon <laughs> copy and then like it falls apart and makes him go insane. Adamantium. <laughs> it's Iron. Uru. It's adamantium and X-Men. You can't hammer adamantium either. How do you know? Because vibranium, shit. vibranium, and uh, adamantium are yeah, they're one and one in the same, same thing basically. 
Read the comics, you fucking dickweed. <laughs> All right. Well, this has been my last episode. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm pretty excited to see where everything goes. I I don't know. <laughs> A lot can still happen. If it's the finale tomorrow, that makes me sad. I mean, it is. Yeah, tomorrow's the <laughs> fucking finale. Uh, confirmed. Be sad. I don't like it. All right, so I'll take a couple minutes to go over Call of Duty news now. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I took up all my time talking about how he hates Bucky. <laughs> and Sam. What? Yeah, I gotta fucking fly through the news now. Thanks, Cody. <laughs> season, three, season three of Cold War came out a few days ago. Added a couple new guns. Added a new uh, operator. Added a couple new maps. And all that jazz. But they also updated Warzone. Yeah. Um. So on Wednesday at about 3 p.m. They started part one of their event. Quote unquote event. And of course they had issues. No way. Not Activision. People were getting server queues that they couldn't get in at all to do the event. Okay. But the event saw everybody turn into zombies and see a <laughs> missile flying into the map and blowing it up. Woo. Second part, everybody went to Hell Alca- yeah. Second part, everybody went to Alcatraz at night and saw the, the nuke from the island. Woo. Part three, uh, you played, which was Thursday. You played in Alcatraz. Once you finished up the game, you got thrown into a cutscene and thrown into the new map where you played it, which was cool. Did you like it? I will get to my comments at the end of this. (laughs) Part four, a new event called Hunt for Adler, and which they released the new map. And, of course... That didn't go off without something going wrong because the people had long waits to get into the games as well. Yeah, actually. Of course. But a new point of interest, they have Array, the Mines, and Factory from Blackout. And they also added Summit. There's no more roof on the stadium, so no more roof campers. Downtown. Downtown is more open for less camping, hopefully. Superstore and airport are fully built, so no destruction in them. They made all the lighting really bright and colorful, which it looks very nice. Good, good, good. I can't wait to play again. I can't wait for you to play it either. There's a new gulag. Oh, my favorite again? part. Standoff. A little mini standoff. Uh, okay. Cold War Guns is the only ground loot. Oh. And- yeah, so no more Modern Warfare guns unless you pick up your loadout. And oh. then Raven Software said that the original Verdance map <sighs> is going to be dead and gone. No more original Verdansk. Uh, FFAR, Psychop pistols, all the overpowered guns got nerfed. Okay. A lot of guns got buffed, like the Krig and the AK-47. And the Pellington Sniper. They're also keeping an eye on the Amax Assault Rifle. Because they feel like that's going to be the new meta. Okay. The Rose Skin got quote-unquote nerfed. How do you nerf a skin? They made the map brighter. (laughs) I mean, she wasn't very hidden anyway. Well... Coding. I mean, I guess in some... I don't know. I haven't played the game in like a year. They removed slide yeah. canceling in Cold War. Well, of course what? they did. They take away all the fun shit. So you have to right? finish your slide before you stand up. Alright. Remember when they took G-sliding out? Mm-hmm. So, here's my take on it. <laughs> it wasn't a Fortnite event, because, you know, Fortnite goes above and beyond and makes sure everything works right. <laughs> and Travis Scott wasn't part of it. Yes. Uh, there was a zombie event that led up to it for a month, and it was very long and drawn out, and was I was really expecting a lot more out of that. Um, basically, here, I'll put into a little thing that Devin can understand. 
It was kind of like when um, Stone Cold had the gun <laughs> pointing at Vince McMahon, and it <laughs> and he pulled the trigger, and it went, you know, the bang. Bang 360. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's how it was. But, I mean, the map looks awesome. Everything looks awesome, and I'm, I'm going to still play it. So. That sounds amazing. Speaking of Call of Duty New Snow, I need to talk to you about something. Mm-hmm. Remember last week we talked about Nate Shop? Mm-hmm. Did you happen to see the conversation between him and Enable the past couple of days? Inform huh? So Enable tweeted and said, yo, Slasher, Karma, uh, play the next challenger thing with me and Zuma. No practice required, just a little AW phase OG vibes. Nate Shot replied with, I'll play if one of them doesn't. Zuma then Zuma's got a bum thumb. And Nabel said, hmm, can't tell if you're capping or not. Nate Shot said, I'm not. Stand off, raid, and express. Just tell me what attachments we need, what guns we're allowed to use, and let's rip it. I told you he was going to do a challenge. Which Nabel's replied, Karma hasn't responded, me, you, Zuma, slasher. Okay. So, Zuma's, Nate Shot. I thought Zuma was injured. I thought it was. I thought he retired, too, because of his fucking thumb. Yeah. But I mean, if it's just a little challenger thing, that doesn't really matter. I mean, those kids are cracked, though. Yeah, that's true. But it's pretty cool to see that Nate Shot might be having one more little competitor. He was also in the new Warzone commercial, too, along with was he? some soccer players and some rappers. Yeah, I, I, I'm a. You, you know how I feel about Nate Shot. I think he's a granddaddy of esports. Of I think. I think Hex is a granddaddy. I think Nate Shot's a daddy. Yeah. Do you see that Hex opened a weed plant, a weed shop? I did. That's, that's wild. Yeah, very wild. <laughs> very funny. Also, last last bit last bit of Call of Duty news. Uh, this past weekend started the Road to Major Three. Uh, yeah. I haven't really been fucking around watching with uh, watching uh, any Cold War esports. Is that any good? Very. very. My favorite esports. My favorite competitive Call of Duty to watch was AW. I thought that shit was fun, fast paced, and Black Ops Four stupid. was very good. Black Ops Four was good too. Black Ops Four was good too. I miss Blackout. Speaking of uh, <sighs> Fortnite that you brought up, Brandon. Blackout. Hmm. Last out. night. Last night at three o'clock in the morning, a couple friends said, "Let's play Fortnite." I woke up to see. Uh, I said, "I do not want to play Fortnite." <laughs> And they said, come on. And I said, all right, I'll play one game, then I'm going to bed. And we ended up winning. <laughs> Is it a first try? Game? Yeah, it's a four per it's four four V ninety six. It's just like it's just like Warfare Warzone. I enjoy playing Fortnite. Yeah, hey, I'm I'm happy I got the dub. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'll play it more, but it's kinda like Minecraft. You play it for a couple weeks and you're like, God, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess Minecraft sucks. But yeah, the Call of Duty League, uh, Major 3, Road to Major 3, started this weekend. FaZe is on top, Empire in second place, Optic Chicago in third, along with New York Subliners, Ultra Thieves, rounding out the top six. Very nice. So, my whole thing with the, the new map thing, like, hasn't that shit already all been done before? What? Like the, oh, we're going to blow up the map and start something that new. That was Fortnite. No, no. They did it in Blackout, too, because they, like... No, Blackout did it. it differently. They destroyed certain parts of the map and changed the map occasionally, whereas Verdansk got nuked, and they're rebuilding the whole thing. No, 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 no. It got nuked, and then somehow the world started backspinning, and we went back to 1984. Uh, perfect. Much, make, make much yeah, much more realistic. I mean, it looks great. The uh, point of interest look awesome. So, yeah. How are you? Hell yeah. I haven't played Call of Duty in like six months, so I don't care. Oh, I, I haven't you, played. I wish you weren't such an couple. idiot. <laughs> I'm the one that hasn't played in six months. The other three haven't played in longer, and I'm an idiot. Yeah. All oh, right. I just played with Beast not too long ago. <laughs> Not too long ago. Yeah, but how long ago was that? Week? Over a year, whatever. You know, I played with Cody more recently than I played with Hey, that's true. 
I'm just saying, I bought Outriders in Snow, so I haven't played that with you. Haven't See, I was going to buy Outriders to play with Snow, and I said Snow never plays games other than Call of Duty, so I didn't buy it. I'm literally like... Snow's been talking about playing Outriders nonstop, guys. Jesus Christ. I'm on, like, hey, world not... tier 6. Level Where you 14. at on Monster Hunter? I haven't Me? played it in a week. Oh, okay. uh, I can't get into it, guys. I tried yeah, I'm, like, hard. world tier 7. I, I, I love Outriders. It's great. Yeah, it's it's really fun. Fun. You have the demo, don't you, Devin? Yeah. I just Is, need some game with it. Huh? Can you play the whole game with it? No, I'm maxed out. Oh. I need to play. I need, I need something new to play because I keep playing Soulborn games and I'm, I need something different to play. Yeah, it's about Riders. Warzone. It's like. On PS5, I'm playing Demon Souls, and then on Xbox, I got back into Sekiro. So they're both the same style of game, so I just need yeah. something different. I did just pick up uh, Neo, the complete edition. Mm, love Neo is cool. Never played it. So good. Yeah, like, go um, like 13 bucks or something like that. You got? Did you say the first one? Yeah. You basically you like it. Sekiro with Ninja Gaiden. Not as hard. Yeah. Well, some parts. I also picked up Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice too. So I'm not, not, good. not good. Not good. Yeah, you're heard, the, literally the only person I've heard that said yeah, that. Yeah, you're the only person I've heard say I that. Found, so I played like an hour and a half of it, and it just got super repetitive. And apparently, so I don't know if you know anything about the game. So like when you die, there's like this plague that starts to take you over. And if you die too many times, the plague takes you over and it kills you and like you're done with the game. Oh. So apparently no matter how many times you die, the plague doesn't go past a certain part of your body and it has no effect of the game. Hmm. Okay, so it like I gives have... you that fear of like oh hey, I can't die, but then really has no effect overall anyway. Caleb, I have a game you should play. You have a PS5. What's that? The, I do. They're having their spring sale for a few more days. Go buy the complete edition of Lords of the Fallen. It's three dollars. I have Lords of the Fallen on uh, Xbox. Oh, do you? It's the same thing as Demon Souls and stuff. I know. It's so hard. hard. I got past the first boss the first time I played it. Couldn't get past anything past that. Tried to play that's, it again. Couldn't get past the first boss. That's literally the hardest game I've ever played. I made it to like the fourth boss. Yeah, and I made I, it. I just I, I made it past play. the first boss the very first time I played it. Didn't realize it was a soul style game, so I stopped playing it. And then I was like, "Oh, hey, I need." And you to can't. Play. You can't. And die I couldn't get past the first lose, boss. If you die, you lose all everything. your experience and everything. Yeah, and that game's hard as fuck. But Demon Souls is pretty good if you're a magic user. Um, if you're a melee user, it gets kind of hard, which is why I started the game over as a magic user. And then obviously Sekiro, still hard but highly enjoyable. Why don't you go play some Pokemon? I haven't played Pokemon in forever. Yeah, we can play Horizon Zero Dawn. We can play whenever you want. I fucking love that game. God damn, I love that game. It's free. I I had a stealth build so good that they had to nerf the stealth after (laughs) I like. Luckily, I beat the game with my stealth build, but they were like, "Oh hey, the stealth is too good in this game." We we have to nerf it, and they nerfed all the stealth because you could basically walk up to an enemy right in front of it, punch it, and it still couldn't see you because your your stealth was so high. Really, it was hilarious. Splinter Cell: The Horizon Edition game. I didn't get to play the DLC though because I traded in the game before it came out. Play Metal Gear. <laughs> play some of the Yakuza games. Fucking kill myself. Hope I die. There's a game coming out tomorrow called uh shit. I don't remember what it's called. Wow, Cody Vamp for him. <laughs> Bio Mutant. Uh, it's Is that called uh, Yakuza. Yakuza it comes out in May. Yakuza uh, seven. No, it, it's re re something. <laughs> Yakuza seven's already re reckoning. Re- Red it, Dragon. That, that might be it. Re re reckoning. No, the game's already out, but you should play it because. Kingdoms of Amalur was great. Great. Game. Oh, fuck. What's it called? Comes out why tomorrow. You, why don't you play Revenge of the Sith? Re- Returnal. Oh! oh yeah. 
we well, hold on. We watched that game on the Sony when we watched the yeah. Sony. Yeah. Thing, and it looked like <laughs> shit. Looked really? Like, yeah, I thought yeah. it looked good. No, it looked cool. We all came to the agreement that it looked like fucking ass. No, I think you thought we all came to the agreement. Yeah. Wow. Sounds like some Devin shit. I'll have to. Is that a PlayStation PlayStation exclusive? Yeah. PS5 exclusive. Oh. Just a dumbass. Apparently it comes out the 30th, not tomorrow. Can't fucking read. An idiot. Worthless. Uh, I hate that PS5 exclusives are $70, though. Same. Oh, is that what makes them seventy? Yeah, because they're mm-hmm. five exclusives. Uh, bullshit. Wow, imagine that, that. Sony hell. trying to price gouge them, their customers. I don't like Bitch, that at all. Microsoft for a full day tried to be like, "Hey, uh, pay us three hundred dollars a week to play online," it was... and then went, "Wait, you guys don't like that? My bad." <laughs> they were just testing the waters. They're like, you know, let's. They try weren't it. testing shit. Shut the fuck up. At least Sony just sticks to their convictions. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Sony's Sony, like Sony just sucks, like, but... fuck you. I would, I would hate to be Microsoft phobes. I still want to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake, too. Same. That was free. Did you get it? I did not. I don't have PlayStation Network. What? Rich as fuck. Big old White House. <laughs> don't have PSN. White House and a very I don't white play. neighborhood. I don't play video games that often. Avengers is on sale on Steam right now for $24. Oh, Avengers is on sale on PlayStation, too. I almost bought it last night. Do I wanted to buy it because Snow enjoyed it's it. It's terrible. You yeah. liked it, Snow? Yeah. It was enjoyable. Hmm. There's a I, new event. I can see on. why it, it would get boring, but you know, I enjoyed it. There's I thought it was very repetitive, and it was it's crazy that Tony Stark didn't interest me in the slightest. I can <laughs> see why it would get repetitive, but I mean, it was fun. I've played a lot of repetitive games, so I'm used to it. I, I don't play games that I don't like. You Pick don't up, play uh, any games. Binding of Isaac Repentance. Gross. Who doesn't? Did you say I don't play any games? Yeah, oh. I literally play more games than you do. You play jump games around games. You you play oh, games sorry. and stop playing immediately because I don't like them. That's I'm sorry that literally I literally every game you have played one game in your life. That's you not finished true. One game ever. What game? What game? The Witcher. What other game? Uh, that's crazy because I also be uh, until dawn on stream. When? <laughs> around Halloween. Is that the? Pick your own poison game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the pick your Hardly own a game. Wow. <laughs> All right. Our... So... Those games are good as fuck. So since Cody took up all the time talking about Bucky Soldier, um, Devin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please go on with the legend that is Indiana Championship Wrestling. Well, oh. do we even have time? Yeah. Of course we do. Always got time. All right. Just wanted to touch a little bit on it this week. Fucking uh, Cody. I know. Fucking ruin. Didn't ruin it. Didn't ruin it. My mistake. My mistake. So, as literally everybody who listens to this may know, which is few and far between, <laughs> all five of you, Indiana Championship Wrestling is coming back as Indiana Presents. And Indiana Presents back again May 8th, Greenfield, Indiana. I, the address is like 6063 East 100 South Greenfield, Indiana. The Upstart Garage. And the Upstart Garage. Such an Indian bring your own, bring your own chair if you want to. Anyway, going to be a fucking great time. Headlined by Chongo versus gorgeous Gabriel Gage for the Iron Will Championship. Uh, Ziggy Haim versus Holly Cromwell. AJ Snow versus Anthony Lee. Oh, that hasn't even been announced yet. Wow. Yes, it has. I haven't announced it yet. Oh, yeah, it has. I'm a dumbass. Sorry. That was Everybody the first one. Literally forget everything I've even said. I'm a dumbass. I, I've realized I hadn't posted it in a while, so I was going to post it tomorrow. <laughs> Kenny Sutra versus Sean Phoenix. And I think that's all that's been announced so far. Hell yeah. Yep, that is so, all that's going on so far. We're looking forward to that, and I know if there's anybody that listens to this podcast, they probably live close to us. So if you'd be so kind as to just show up, pay seven dollars, and come watch some real fun wrestling. Tune in next no week. We'll, we'll run down the card and you know give our insights. Seven dollars yeah. for adults, five dollars for children. If you bring two kids, seven dollars for both of them. Oh. But but I just wanted to talk about 
the old ICW a little bit today. Uh, you know, from the second run or the old ICW. I didn't get along with any any of our Koreans. Why? Chongo was a baby back then. <laughs> I wasn't a baby. Y'all were just dickheads. <laughs> no, I Ew. was never a dickhead. How was I a dickhead? I think Cody was the least dickhead one. I hated Devin more than anybody on this Damn. planet. Why? Not only that, I thought Why? Devin hated me. More you were than in a group with you were in a group with Devin, Caleb. No, no, I wasn't. Awakening? I wasn't in the awakening until the second run of ICW. That's what we're talking about. No, no I was talking, I was talking about, about like, the first run. Oh, he, why was you hate, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why would you hate me? You were mean to me, Devin. I was I a sensitive was soul back then. I was not mean to you at all. The but, worst thing I ever did to you was hold you in a fucking ball because you were being mean. That is it. Uh, that was a good Alyssa then, was there. Uh, yeah, Alyssa just watched and <laughs> didn't care. I said, uh, get off of me, and she just laughed. That's so great. So I'm just saying. Do. I'm just saying. If if uh, I'm trusting y'all to to not be dicks to me this on my last show, no promises. I would never. I'm not even a bad guy. <laughs> I'm I'm the most kind-hearted of us all. I have a match to get ready for. I don't care about you. Appreciate it. Appreciate <laughs> it. Beast Snow has to wrestle Anthony Lee. He's got Anthony so, Lee's big. King of Ohio versus the King of Indiana. Well, King of Greenfield. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> don't fucking don't take that from Billy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I want I want everybody individually to just pull their favorite match in ICW history that they were in, or it doesn't matter. Let's do one of both. One we were in, and your favorite match. Before. <clears throat> Can we all do that? I can. I can't name a favorite that I wasn't in. Because <laughs> you didn't watch anybody else's match. <laughs> I didn't watch you. I didn't watch you guys back in the day. Damn. You can do it from the second run too. That's so crazy. Yeah, you can. I'm talking about all of all of ICW's history. We have a lengthy history. I just. I can go for. I can go first. Go first. Let Caleb think. Favorite match that I was in was against you at Deadly Fire Seven. I think that was my best Deadly Fire match that I had, even though I main evented the year before. Um, mm-hmm. I had limitations in the first match that I couldn't overcome because I was fat and gross and old and fat and gross. Um, God damn it. But I, I think you and I ah. clicked, on, clicked ah. on some real good cylinders in that match, and we got going the gate, and we just flowed really well. And the favorite match that I've watched is the TLC match between... Um, Snow and Devin versus Caleb and Stacy. Really, mm-hmm. really? Because you know, I thought we, we should had have zero been. planning for that. Match. I, thought, I thought we sh- we didn't plan after. So I power bombed Stacy onto Caleb's back. Really? Uh, and then I think they'd planned the El Generico Kevin Steen spot. And then the finish. Snow punched me so hard. <laughs> it was, it was just such a it was such a fun match. And then, like, I just watched a highlight video of that last night. Actually, when you got thrown thrown through the when you got belly to belly through the ladder and you just folded so perfectly inside of it. <laughs> uh, I thought oh, it was great. Yeah, was great. And then a favorite moment that I was a part. I throw that in there too. Was uh, um, that six man ladder match where I tried to beat up Caleb. That was, I mean, that was. Bro, I'm the fucking ref. I don't give a shit. (laughs) But that that, actually, that was a very good match. Um, Yeah, and that is a match. I I was in it for three minutes, and I got, I took ten bumps. So, so good times. Oh my fucking god! I took, I took an fu through a table on the floor. (laughs) Yes, you did. That's such a good time. All right, Cody. <laughs> so, favorite one that I am was a part of is probably either me and Jacob or honestly me and Tyron. Me and you was fun too, Devin. But I feel like I was awful in that. So, but me and me and Tyron was a lot of fun. Me and you were fun, was a lot of fun because we. 
Yeah, well, and like we got to do a lot of shit that we didn't get to do before. So yeah, I liked it. Like, like the Chongarchy. <laughs> that was so much fun. And the, um, the what was the other thing? The fucking uh, Pete Dunn's finish where it goes on the apron. The better end, yeah. Yeah, that was nice. Um, the thing that I watched was probably Tyron and Stacy when they did the whole feud where he came back. The deadly fire. That deadly fire. Yeah, that was fucking good. So good match. Good match. Yeah, it's all right. Am I? Am I up? Shit. You're, yeah, you're up. You, you were Caleb. Okay, well, favorite match that I was in. Me and Johnny. That was fun. Hell yeah. Or, that was a fun match. Or Elite versus you know, Outshine. So, Johnny was just telling me a few days ago, he's very disappointed in his performance in that match. Why? Why? That's, That's what great. I said. That's what I said. so good. The only thing, there's one thing about Johnny's wrestling, with me and I've already talked to Devin about it. Is this motherfucker has to learn how to run ropes? I'm tired yeah. of seeing him hit the ropes like this <laughs> with the ropes on the side. Is he coming back? Yeah, Hell eventually. Yeah. You'll love to see it. And of course, Lee versus Outshine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite one that you've seen? I might have to say Devin and Elliot. Mm. From Deadly good. Fire, Deadly Fire Six. Hmm. In Jimmy's backyard. Oh, Deadly Fire Five! Yes, that was so fucking good. Oh hey, on oh, my game that day. That was I a good one. Some chair shots to the fucking dome. You took some chair shots to the fucking ribs. I mean, nah, good. Before, if you're not gonna. Good day. <clears throat> that was all a right. fun. That was a fun show all around. All right, Caleb. So favorite match I was in, obviously Leap vs. Outshined. That was a. That was a banger. It's probably my favorite match I've ever been in Look, together. I think that was photos. the best match, match of the in year. ICW. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. That was that was a banger of a match. Um, and then Snow took my favorite match to watch was Devin versus Elliot in that backyard. That's crazy. I'm very unexpected. I would honestly forgotten all about it. <laughs> it was a banger. You and Elliot were both on your game that that, that I, uh, I did. The Elliot one... hit that moonsault off his truck into the bed. Mm-hmm. So a couple he tried things... to drown him in the pool. No, he That's tried to drown me. He drowned Elliot. me. That's Elliot how I did. found out I was going bald. <laughs> <laughs> he Elliot, me. If he had any kind of like want or will or Humanity. anything like that to want to become a professional wrestler, he would probably be one of the best of us. Yeah. yeah like, no, me and. Me and Tyron used to talk about it. He, he could have been so naturally talented at wrestling. Well, he just doesn't care. And the acting, uh, like I did acting. I want to take a minute to talk about the bump I took out of the truck onto the. Chair. That's what I was talking about—the rib bump. Oh you like, yeah, you like cartwheeled onto the chair and then cartwheeled. <laughs> you just kept cartwheeling over. <laughs> I took my momentum. Just took me into the pool. It was great. It was awesome. Good pulls. Good pulls. Good pulls. So, my favorite match I've been in in ICW was Lee versus Outshine, but I do have some honorable mentions, and I would be remiss if I didn't if I didn't bring them up. <laughs> so, firstly, uh, it's be snowing because of Katonic against snow. <laughs> and I don't cold show. I don't I don't know why it just sticks so fondly in my memories. I had Bell's palsy. <laughs> me, and, me and Snow were selling like idiots, uh, and then the wheelbarrow Omega driver, just fucking. Good. Obviously, uh, the me and Chango from November two thousand nine. Oh yeah, yep. Uh, explosion, and our Deadly Fire Seven match, the debris ladder match from twenty eighteen. Trying to think if I'm missing any. I don't know. What about you and Gabe? Yeah, me and Gabe too. The first me and Gabe, I think that's one of the better ICW matches too. I can agree. I did uh, love favorite... me and Ness at Midwest Extravaganza. I forgot all about that. Damn, that was that was good. Favorite match I have seen in ICW: Johnny Light versus B Snow at Deadly Fire Seven. So good! It was so good. I fucking dude, Johnny. The storytelling in that match. 
me and Johnny, me and Johnny at Pride and Honor too. I really like me and Johnny at Pride and Honor also. Mm-hmm. By the way, I, I like that in there because I love that match. I love the way Johnny took the uh, the Witch Hunters in that match. He kind of like just crumbled under him. I don't know how to mm-hmm. explain it. Fucking Chef Debbie B kiss. <laughs> I fucking love Johnny Light. One of my other favorite matches that I've seen is uh, Will versus Johnny at Deadly Fire 6. Oh, shit. Yes, I, I was thinking about that one, but that made me think of this match that has Caleb in it, who, which, I mean, I swear to God, it needs more. It needs to be talked about more. We just forget it because it was thrown together for no reason. Katonic versus Havoc versus Homicide. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Fire 6. That was so fun! I don't think we planned anything. <laughs> we just went out there and did shit. <laughs> fucking Caleb put Havoc through a table. Uh, homicide fucking just chilling on the the you ring. You were holding the ladder. Oh my fucking like... god, dude. That match was, so that, that was that was That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Homicide took a, uh, <laughs> a style clash on the whatever that thing was. <laughs> the trailer. Yeah, power bombed Havoc on a fucking gravel pit. <laughs> oh. That match was Deadly Fire 6 pretty good. Deadly Fire 6 was probably one of our better shows. Probably one of our no better shows. I took the best bitch maker yeah. ever. 2017 was, I think, I probably know 2017 was our. Had me and Johnny in the main. Can't wait to run Lee versus Pride of Indiana. Same. I'm booking it. Somebody come wrestle, though. Stop fighting right. Ryers. What's your fa- what's your guys' favorite backyard match you've ever had? Oof, oof. There's Something with me and Snow. I mean, that isn't from like ICW or CBYW. Matt, from CBYW. You got to pick a Super Show match that you've had. Me and me and Demoris. You and Demoris. Um, I would say something from just another Super Show, but I didn't really get booked very well there. Fame. <laughs> me neither. Uh, the, <laughs> I think it was like a ten man tag in Pennsylvania. It was like the young youngins versus the old oldens. Yeah. Young versus oldens. The link versus GBYWN again. In a sense, yeah, but like Freak Boy broke his neak and shit. That was, was always a fun match crazy. to be in. Where you guys wrestled in that church or whatever it was. Yeah. I'm I'm mixed between. Is um, that is that where Sick Rick? Never mind. Tore, tore the Beast Nose tights. Yeah, uh, probably. Amazing. All right, go on. I Mine's just... mixed between um either me and Saint Vengeance from Jam or uh Job Squad 2.0 <laughs> versus. Versus Awakening. It wasn't a good match. Like, it was a squash match. But it was fun being out there with all you guys. See, I sucked back in the day, so I never got good bookings. Same, brother. Same. Like, so wow. actually, I, I, I like because Snow, Snow actually booked me really well. Wow. And I did. Product, no, you did not. Literally no. booked you against St. Vengeance. That was all I was me. talking. I was talking pre 2014 when we were actually backyarding every week. Not when we got together once in three years to wrestle in Allentown and everybody there was good. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> every, <laughs> most of the people there were good, um, but he snow booked me against Prodigy and Genocide, and you know who booked me against Prodigy? Who? Anthony Lee. I think did he book that show? What show? Fucking CCW burn this yeah. world or Yeah. We didn't start the fire or whatever it was called. <laughs> yeah, that that show it was either that one or the other one, Welcome to the Real World, where fucking Jason Maples came and gave us a ring and then Stole told us the Steve, ring. And then told Steve he had to pay three hundred more dollars to keep the ring for an hour and a half. Yeah. <sighs> Jason Maples is a piece of shit. I know, I'd fight him in this this time of my life. Same. <clears throat> what What do you guys want from new ICW? <clears throat> I mean, Indiana presents. What I do you want, want forward to? 
I am ready to retire and <laughs> to uh yeah. just help just help out wherever I can. Are you so are you I mean you're still gonna be there helping out? Yeah, I, I figured I'd take on more of like a producer role, you know what I mean? A fucking producer retire. Yeah. I need yeah. <clears throat> I need a free referee and cameraman. I got you, brother. I mean, what I'm about, not going to be free, but... What about Caleb? What does he want from my CW? I mean, <laughs> sorry, fuck. Indiana Presents. I need you guys to build new talent. Build well, up, starting with build you. Build up some young bloods to send them out into the real world. That's great. We have a bunch of trainees that are going to be there. You coming to help? Yeah. yeah, I'll be there. You're coming to take bumps. <laughs> uh, what is, what about honestly... The- <laughs> The voice, of Indi- the voice of Indiana. Cody. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just more excited to see what the as- atmosphere is like. And I the am. Actual I'm also very excited. excited. To see. <clears throat> because, I mean, even when it was just like the backyard in a ring, it was still like hyped and the atmosphere is great. I'm very excited to see what it's like now. I think with having a real crowd that are actually invested into it, because obviously they paid money. <laughs> It's going to be <laughs> a lot better. Whereas, like, if we were to hold a show, well, Devin had a match. He's tired, so he's not really paying attention. Jacob, he's preparing for a match, so he's not paying attention. So you got maybe four people that came with other people that are actually watching. Right. And it, it yeah. like, drains the energy because I, I agree with that. It does. Especially because you, when you're putting your heart and soul into this match and nobody's giving a shit. Yep. It just it makes it hard to continue through that match. Whereas, like, you guys are going to have an actual crowd that are going to be invested in these characters and shit. It's just going to bring that energy even harder. Yeah, I think I, um, I think that I'm happy that we're starting the way we're starting because if we would have started out where we weren't selling tickets again, we would have never started, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is the way to go. As much as I I I did and I still do like the way we were doing things and if possible, I would like to go back to weekly shows. But this is just it's the way for me. Yeah, I wish. And, and my experience, having literally wrestled in front of thousands of people at one time, I like the smaller, more intimate crowds anyway. Yeah, I mean, look you at work the crowd a lot better. Well, yeah, Marion. Like, if something big happened, everybody knew. Right. Like, this shit just got wild. Well, that and like, just because there's only just because there's only 30, 50, 30 to fifty people there doesn't mean that going to upload on to you that that shit's not changing right it's, it's still gonna be icw on, on I also, look, that. it's just gonna be <clears throat> i also i'm in this camp uh i don't i'm not necessarily doing it for other people i'm doing it for myself and my friends so like i'm very happy that people are gonna come and pay and all that shit but i'm i know i what i sound like saying i'm not doing it for them because everyone else says i'm doing it for the fans and shit no, we're not. We're doing it because we fucking enjoy it. Yeah, guys. I want, I want this to be a place people can come and have fun. We don't have to worry about people, you know, being pieces of shit or anything like that. Yeah. Because... I would say, I, I, Devin and I had this conversation about starting ICW or restarting ICW and turning it into turning it into an indie show, indie company or whatever, indie fed, whatever the fuck you want to call it. When uh, the Me Too shit was going on around the Mm -hmm. wrestling Mm -hmm. and that's all i just want like a place that people can come and not have to worry about that shit right because i love professional wrestling i love wrestling Mm -hmm. and i fucking hate i want the pieces of shit that ruin it for other people i want it to be an atmosphere that people like like to be around so when i'm watching my friends wrestle at all times if i'm watching the ring i'm fucking i'm hyping it up i love it so much i'm loud i'm fucking obnoxious i'm beating on the ring and everything else you're the sean michaels that's, that's running back and forth that's just what i that's what i want from wrestling no, he's the undertaker that's running back and forth with the oh water. okay yeah <laughs> I, just, I want all i want from it is people to have a good time and enjoy what they're doing yeah. i think they will i mean you guys oh, yeah. already bring a certain energy that just i, I it's hard to imitate so I mean, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody did ICW the way we did ICW, baby. Exactly. Ain't, nobody, ain't nobody did backyard wrestling the way we did it. Ain't nobody going to do independent wrestling the way we're going to fucking do it. We are going to be the premier independent wrestling company in the Midwest. I don't give a shit. We're going to be fucking kings, brother. Kings. Yeah, Midwest gods. Hmm. All right. We are. And, 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 
<laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I think that, I'm that's try, the best way to end the episode. Try and get a try and get a building closer to civilization. <laughs> All right. But I want to answer. These I appreciate questions. the building we have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh yeah, Snow Snow needs to answer Devin's question. All right. To answer uh, Jacob's question about my favorite match that I've been in. I got, I got many, so I'm going to name them off because I, I like to be, I'm going to be Devin for a change and drop all these <laughs> names. Pick them up and pick them up. Uh, it's so fun to do. It's literally the best part. GBYWN versus VCW. Cool. Wish I was in that match, but somebody fucking caught <laughs> on. We won't talk about that. Versus, versus Scott Henson. Versus okay. Versus mm. mm. CJ Cross. I was about to say, you got to say CJ. Yeah, that was a good match. Day one versus Kentucky. Oh, yeah? Uh, my first match against Focalin. Uh, dude, that's one of my favorite matches of all time. Any of my matches with Tyron. Those were good. Yep. Also one of my favorite matches of all time. Yeah. And, and facing Andy and the crew. That was fun. Oh, and the, uh, the tag match against... Uh, Justin and Marky. That was fun. I think Caleb just got kicked oh, out of his damn. Room. Who did we wrestle? We wrestled Bolton Sellers in Pennsylvania, and yes. I'm pretty sure the only moves I did <laughs> were double stops. <laughs> it's the only moves you need. All right, and what I want out of uh, Indiana Presents, I just want to have fun, because I haven't had fun since, like, 2018 in wrestling. Yep. And like that whole Amen, like brother. 2019 was just like feels like I was just doing it just to do it, not having fun. So yeah, I just want to have fun. You're gonna have fun, baby. And That's I'm gonna do I'm it gonna at Indiana right? Presents on May 8th. At... <laughs> Did I do what? Huh? Did you wrestle in 2019? I did. Did you? He's I been. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Weren't you still oh, yeah, 2020. In, uh... yeah. He's been the fucking Midwest City champion or whatever for Some the last six Ohio. years. I was like the heavyweight champion for uh, for almost a year. I remember when I wrestled Marion Fontaine. Same. <laughs> I remember I when I wrestled shit, I Andrew. dropped that, my bad. <laughs> remember, I, need, remember... I need to see Snow having fun wrestling. Again. Derek Direction. I do too. Zach Thomas. <laughs> Sorry. Teamed with, teamed with Ruby Riot. That's what I did. <laughs> Shadow Daniel Rockingham. Sorry, I'll just pick up those names. <laughs> Rhino shook my Snow, hand and fist Snow. bumped everyone else. Snow, did you ever see? Have you ever did the the fuck around handshake with Doc with Rockwell or whatever the fuck his name is? Doctor Dan. Yeah, like where you shake his hand real softly. No. Every time I see him, when I saw him when I was working for Midwest, I shook his hand as soft as I could because it pissed him off every time. He's like, get that shit out of here. And I'm just like. <laughs> I am so happy. Favorite. So happy that, that we do not have to do any of those handshakes. I'm so happy that I never got to run snow in Midwest because our styles didn't match. Yeah. You love to see it. Snow said, Snow said, hey, Jay, come, come book this dude against me. I want to bring in this dude. I want to wrestle him. Jay said. Nah. I'm going to book him against Marion Fontaine instead. <laughs> Jay, Jay said, I hate Devin. <laughs> he said, we, one of the last shows I worked for, for Midwest, he said, I wanted you to be a heel, but everybody likes you. <laughs> I said, because you're one of Marion's finest. Okay. Yeah. I said, okay. And then I couldn't come to a show because my car broke down. And he said, I'm never hiring you again. They Dave said Connor shit all over me and Devin. He hates Jay hates that. Devin. That's what I'm saying. Well, I don't get it. I don't get when it. Are, when are we gonna run back that six man? You know what six man I'm talking about. Stacy don't wrestle snow. anymore. We'll get him back. Tyron Stacey's retired. <laughs> Stacy's retired. Me and Snow are on teams. It's it's never it's not possible. <laughs> we got we gotta run that shit back. Everybody's lazy. Except me and Devin. Except me and Snow. Literally. Well, I, I will fuck myself. <laughs> You're retiring, quote hey, unquote. Three, three men, three men a tag it. team match does not make. I'll come back for it. We can have a handicap match. <laughs> all right. They took all the heat the first match anyway. 
<laughs> you sure did. All 30 minutes of it. <laughs> Devin's the only one that caught me for a tope suicida. I just want to say I, I, will, I am the best damn catcher in the Midwest. All right. I will no, catch but you. One, one thing, selfishly, selfishly, I'm happy that I get to retire in front of a crowd instead of in a barn somewhere. Quote unquote retiring. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with a barn somewhere? You don't want to go back just... to beaches? The Dave? Yeah. No, go back to beaches. It just, it just feels like because there's going to be a crowd, personality is going to give closure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I get to see, I get to see something that I helped that I helped cultivate in since 20, 2008 and I get to see it in 2021 blossom into this new thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yeah. Overall big win for Indiana presents. Yes. Big win. Overall big win for Indiana as a whole. Big will. Overall big will for Indiana Overall as a whole. Overall big will snake arm. All right, so follow us on Twitter. Follow Indiana Presents on Twitter at Indiana <clears throat> Presents. Follow Top Turda on Twitter at Top Turda. Follow us on Spotify, iTunes. Follow me on YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, MySpace, Zanga, Viewporn <laughs> at The Beast Snow. Browsers the game. I, will, I am in Browsers the game as well. Follow me. Yes. Unlock my porn videos. <laughs> or yeah, I will. I will. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> Jake's been playing that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. amazing. <clears throat> Follow me on Twitter, sexy wb. I don't know my handles on anything else. So he's on YouTube. ACW video seventeen. He's on YouTube. He makes good ass food. He will be. Should be. Mm-hmm. Should be. Won't be. Follow me on Twitter at uh, Friendly Plays. You can follow me on Twitch at Friendly Plays X. Just hit 750 followers. Hey. Let's go. That's what I'm talking uh, about. The boy is, he's about to start streaming right now. Make sure to follow him. Uh, follow me on TikTok at Friendly Plays X. Follow Indiana Presents on Twitter to see all the news and updates and Indiana Championship Wrestling on YouTube. Gingerbeard Man 1 on the Twitches and T Gingerbeard Man on the Twitter. Uh, Kind of switching over to the variety thing because I, I won't I won't get into it, but yeah. Everybody's a variety streamer. Come on. I I wasn't till about you a week will, ago. You have been. I mean not really. I've still been trying to like focus mainly on magic, but I haven't seen you play magic in months. Yeah. Right. It's almost like there's a reason. We won't get into that though. Well now you're on the bright side and you can actually play some games. Good job. Yeah. Buddy. And have fun. Yeah. Have fun with streaming. I'm like fucking hating it. Eventually, life won't be so hectic, and I'll get no, back won't. to a schedule. Cody, but... it won't. It, your life Probably will never not. get less hectic. You're, it's not going to happen. I don't know. There's some shit going on right now that <laughs> probably won't be. Look, fair enough. Look, you're the <laughs> a, you're the actual commentating camera concession stands man for Indiana Presents. Concession lights, music, camera, everything. You're gonna blow up. Hopefully. I'll become the voice of Indiana. Couldn't be the voice of Ohio, so why the fuck not? Like Zo- Joey Styles. And hey, next next show, Cody next Joey. show. I mean, Cody Joey. Next show, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a so a what a partner to to oh, talk okay. with. Is hey. it Austin? Yeah. Yeah, hey, hey. Austin Olson. So, you know. Oh, also, every other week, uh, every other Sunday on Friendly Pele's Twitch over there, doing some d and Diesel. I still need to write the next session. Do you got the one-shot already figured out? I'm just going to download something. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, I, do we need to get shit ready? Like, should I start building characters? Uh, yes, yes. I'll let you know what level you need to be okay. uh, soon. Devin, are you working Saturday? As of right now, yes. Caleb, will be working Saturday? Always. Okay. No, not not this Saturday. Hey, Can't play D and D. Look at that. Maybe you want to do a one shot. No, I'm down. It's over Discord. Of... He's not going to do it. Be a part of the friendly plays twelve hours drizzle. That he's going to turn into twenty four hours like shy. No, sir. 
play right, wow you better do a sub do a subathon god no that shit's stupid i'm I'll sorry do, can I'll we do, do a little sidebar on that real quick become ludwig nah that shit is dumb as fuck why because because you know, it makes you a lot of money no, no, no. Anytime you give any person in the internet power over your life, you fucked up. Cody, Cody hates be- people being successful. So, not being successful. <laughs> well, I can understand the stupidity behind giving people power. I also don't understand why it's so stupid because he be just became the number one Twitch streamer on Twitch from it. Nobody asked you to sub to him. <laughs> There and, he also, and he also I... donated half the money that he made and then paid no. all his mods. Right. Like and... that shit's cool. I'm not saying that like I'm not Ludwig saying it's a like bad no money. thing. I know. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I don't think he's a bad person. But now like XQC's wanting to do it. Uh well, good. Fuck fucking... it. It's not like it's a new Here's thing anyways. People have been doing it. Someone's for a while. been doing it forever, yeah. I know, but like Cody Just let people be happy. God damn it. There, there's no way streaming for 40 hours straight will make you happy. That paycheck in the end. <laughs> <It was. laughs> you just said like we didn't make shit. He didn't stream for 40 hours. He streamed for 30 days. <laughs> I know, and he didn't make a damn dime off of it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up how much he made. Like I get it, it's cool. It's, a, it's a nice, maybe? it's a nice way to like get yourself out there and shit. But like nobody asked. Nobody I don't told him you it. had to sub to him. Yeah, he made he made he made just about four hundred thousand dollars in thirty days, after, which is more than after taxes be, and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah after taxes, after taxes, after no, he came back the next day and did another. I know, the, or sub fucking no. After taxes, he made two hundred six thousand. Gross. Um, he donated three hundred sixty-five thousand dollars. Did he paid out for payroll one hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars? Yeah, that's a lot of money. I'm not. I don't know. I, I get where my... I, I understand what you're saying. Where you think it's not a good idea to yeah let a Twitch community decide your fate. Yeah, because they're trolls. But but it wasn't done in like. Ludwig knew what he was signing up for. Yeah. Like, if you can do it, if you can prepare for it, and, like, your body can handle it. He took he took half it. a month off. He said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. I don't think he prepared for 30 days. I don't think that was... He, I don't think he thought that, but by a weekend, everybody knew that he was going for 30 days. I guess I'm just more scared now from all these kids that are going to be like, oh, I can do that. I want to be the next Ludwig. If children are doing it, their parents need to start being parents. I mean... It's America. <laughs> parents have been needing to be parents for a long time. This is America. I don't have any parents. Don't catch them slipping. Me neither. They I don't know. have any either. You do too, you fuck. All right, so follow Caleb at Caleb SXE44. <laughs> Come girl, cam girl. Yes. 69420. Follow Caleb at OnlyFans.com forward slash SXE44. <laughs> yeah, for real, you would make so much money on OnlyFans. I'm SXE. Not even... Why is it? Because his dick's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Well, that thing, it'd be like hundred dollars. Go, take it off, bitch. How do you know that? Because you'd pay for it. <laughs> yeah, it's it a... hold on. It, it could be fucking ugly. We it Caleb's ugly. dick. Yeah, we've all seen it. Could be horribly circumcised. It's not. We've horribly seen it. <laughs> Anyways, that's all about all I got at me today. Size, foot and a half long penis. <laughs> <laughs> You and Domi should do an OnlyFans together. Please stop. Sonic, Sonic hot dog dick. I bet you could. I bet you and Domi could tie your dicks into a knot. Probably, dude. That's, no, that should be a tag team. <laughs> yeah. Domi's like a, no. Domi's looks like a long john donut <laughs> <laughs> with the brown topping and all. Caleb's looks like a meerkat. <laughs> Caleb is like when the bratwurst come out of the processing thing and it's just a spiral. <laughs> Uh, can I go home now? Yeah. No, you are that, home. That, that's that's about it for the podcast this week, folks. Goodbye. Hail Satan, you, know, you sons of bitches. Hail Biden. Yeah, goddamn. Uh, Goodbye. Love in the yeah, fucking. Bye. See have a beautiful time. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. See you next week.